Hey everybody, it's Steve from Chief Skills. And we're looking at this post from Mad Cow's Carnival, posted on Chief Talk. He's got a problem with this little house where he can't get these corners to join with these attic walls. And the simple fix, I think, and we'll show him what to do and it won't take very long. So let's get started. Hey, Mad Cow's Carnival. Uh, this is your plan. And the first thing I'm going to do here is go to the roof annotations to simplify this and then use this tool up here, which is the layer hide tool. Well, I think I got it in two places right here. And I'm going to hide these and your labels and these dimensions and these manual dimensions. And then I am going to open the layer set here, roof plan layer set, and I'm going to turn gutters off. And then I'm going to turn ridge caps off and simplify this. And then I'm going to open this, uh, the roof planes layer, and I'm going to make this like, um, I don't know, 80. I'm going to make it purple and a solid line so I can see it. Oops. There you go. And uh, turn my line weights on. And now you can really see that. And the other thing I like to do when I do this is to, <clears throat> well, um, well, rooms. So I don't, uh, I don't, I gotta, I gotta get into your room. So uh, I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to leave it like this and turn the reference grid off, make it a little easier to see. And here's the here's the problem right here. When you open this room, you have it set for 144, and then this room over here, the, these are standard height, like 121, or one and nine and an eighth, and then you go right to the attic. Uh, and the other thing we need to do here is turn attic walls on so we can see them. Oops, wrong one. There we go. So you got attic walls here. Now, you also have this as a railing wall, which I'm not sure why. That's the first thing I would change. And then if you notice here, one of the surfaces is concrete. So you've painted it by mistake, I think. So I'm going to go right here, select material, and say use default. And... What wall type are you using? Oh, interior real. I would use siding four. There you go. And it's invisible, so it doesn't, well, <laughs> it's supposed to be invisible. So go over here to make sure it's invisible. There you go. You were using a railing wall. Oh, we better turn invisible walls on so we can see them. And um, the other thing I want to do then is to open this and tell it to use defaults, okay? And um, then what I'm going to do is I am going to build a new floor. I know that seems weird, but make a blank floor and just sit, okay. And um, we'll just leave the defaults, it's fine. Now, one thing you'll notice is it probably screws up your roof. No, it didn't. Good. Okay. But if you noticed, it looks fixed already. <laughs> Let's go back and look at that. And it is, except for this wall right here. So what we have is we have a, well, I got to turn on reference display. And what I'm going to do here is I am going to just drag this out to here. And uh, see, that's an attic wall. And what I'm going to do right now is go into wall defaults, general wall, and turn off this auto rebuild, just at least temporarily. And then I am going to pull this around and make sure it lines up with the wall below. And then I'm going to pull this one around. And again, make sure it lines up. And then I am going to turn these four walls. I am going to say, give them room definition. They can remain attic walls. Now you have a room here. 
And I think the way you would figure this out is you had the ceiling at 144 minus 109.125. Now, next thing we got to do here is make this open below. That's right. I forgot about that. And then I don't want room labels. I want to break this wall right here and right here. Control, you know, if how to break walls, I hope. And make this wall invisible. And then I want to open this room. And, well, actually, I'm going to go down here for a second. This room is 121 and 3 quarters, so I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go up a floor. Open this room and type in right here in rough ceiling, 144 minus 121 and 3 quarters. And then if we take a look, we have drywall here because the walls are reversed. So we just flip them around and flip, hit this. I have a hotkey called wall reversal WR and that's why it's so quick. And there you have it. All done, all fixed. Piece of cake. So quick video. Hope that helps you. See ya.